hello guys how are you all you can see that there is a plastic tool and now i am going to show you how to draw this plastic tool in solidworks so let's begin just click here at first now select part and okay now go to sketch and from here select top plane sketch now from here select center rectangle okay now go to smart dimension and give the length 350 mm and the width 250 mm okay now select fillet and put the parameter 50 mm now just select the corners okay now go to features now click on extruded boss or base and select this one 200 mm and just click here draft and make it outward and make it 2 degree and here change the direction make it downward okay now select fillet and take the fillet parameter 30 mm now click here click this edge okay now from here select front plane click on sketch now press space bar from the keyboard and click on normal two now select line and from here draw line delete this line okay again select line now from this point draw lines now join this one this two okay now from here select center line and from the top center select center line touch the midpoint and also touch this midpoint midpoint of the line enter exit okay now select this line make it vertical okay now again select this line make it vertical okay now again select this line press on control and this bellow line now make them collinear okay now go to smart dimension and the distance from this point to this line will be 75 mm now the length of this line will be 220 mm and the length of this line will be 240 mm okay now go to features click on extruded cut and from here select so all both okay now this portion is cut now select right plane click on sketch 
now press space bar from the keyboard and click on normal to now again select line now draw lines okay now again select center line and from the center point draw line and touch the midpoint of the line again find the midpoint and touch the midpoint okay select now select this line make it vertical okay again select this line make it vertical okay now select this line press on control select this yellow line and make them full linear okay now go to smart dimensions and distance from this edge to this line will be 130 millimeter okay. sorry it will be 75 millimeter the length of this line will be 130 millimeter and the length of this line will be 150 millimeter okay now go to features click on extruded cut and from here select throw all both okay now select shell command and take the value 5 millimeter okay now select this one this portion this portion this one also this one now this part this yellow part this side part, this yellow part, this side part, this side part, this yellow part, this side part, and also this side part. And okay, now we have got a good shape. Now just click here. Click on sketch. Now press uh, just press the space bar from the keyboard and click on normal to. <coughs> now I can select line and from the midpoint <coughs> to the center draw a line. Select. Now I can select line. Now again select line. Now vertical lines are completed. Now I can select line and draw horizontal line. Last one. Okay. Now select smart dimension. So before going to that, uh, no problem, I can make it later. Uh, 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 just distance between these two lines will be 70 millimeter, and the distance between these two lines will be 70 millimeter as well. Now distance from this line to this midpoint will be 30 millimeter and again this line to this midpoint will be another 30 millimeter. Okay. Now go to features 
I'll select rip command and just make it 4 millimeter. Okay. Now you have got a strong structure, and because of this rip card, the lifetime will increase for this tool. Now only one command is left that is fill it. So make it 30 millimeter and select now this portion at first. Now this portion. This one. Also this one. Okay. Okay, the last part, okay. Now our drawing is complete. And now let's apply the material. Let's apply the material, just click here. And at first from appearance select plastic and there are different types of plastic I'm selecting high gloss and just I'm selecting this one the red color now just creating some color so just, there are so many colors I'm selecting just this one okay now make it perspective Changing the background. Okay. So my tool is complete. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thank you.